will minister healing will minister deliverance will minister hope will minister lifting upon your children this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father we thank you that you have gathered us here to listen to your word today may you quicken your word release a rima for somebody touch someone's life today that you may be glorified we yield as vessels my father set apart for you to be used of you king of glory may you mold us where we have been broken that you may use us again we give you praise lord even our nation at this time we silence every drum beats of blood. Every voice that rises, O oh God, with intentions to cause chaos and bloodshed. We declare that the blood of Jesus will speak over this land, my Father. That the altar that has been raised in this land for you, let it speak to silence every demonic altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, may you take charge from the north to the southeast to the west. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your holy angels, my Father, take total control of this land. We give you praise and glory. Give us leaders who are appointed and anointed of you. Anyone that does not come from you, my Father, frustrate their path. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Let them never rise again. But only those that Lord you have ordained. For the purpose of this of the glory of your name. Let your kingdom come in this nation. And let your will be done to the glory of the Father in the Son and the Holy Spirit. We pray and believe. Amen. 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 Just give the Lord a good hand. Celebrate the Lord in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Appreciate also our choir for such ministration. In the name of Jesus. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Welcome to the house of God. Reverend is not with us again today. She sent her greetings to you. And uh, it is well. Now, Amen. Amen. It is well. Tukwa She's sawa. taking care of our old mama. Anashugulikia mama yetu ambaye ni ame ni ame koma. Mze. Mze. <laughs> uh, so she's taking care of her. She's not been feeling well lately. Anam anam shugulikia haja kwa kijihisi vizuri. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We purpose to be glad and rejoice in it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to go to the word of God. Acts of the Apostles chapter number 16. Today we are going to be studying about the gift of discerning of spirits. We have been studying about spiritual gifts. And we are almost through. This is the last uh, gift that we are handling in the last part. Uh, that is part two. There are nine gifts. So by the end of today we will have handled... Six. And hopefully the seventh one. Then God willing next Sunday we can handle the final two. So we have handled the gift of tongues. Interpretation of tongues. And prophecy. 
Those are classified as gifts of speech. Then in the second part, gifts of revelation. We learned about word of knowledge, word of wisdom. And today now we are learning about discerning of spirits. These are the gifts of revelation. And we may handle also the gift of faith under gifts of ability. Depending on how we shall go with the discerning of gifts. You know, I may plan, but the Lord may decide to do otherwise. Amen. Amen. Now, let's read together. I'm reading from the International Standard Version. Because there is something I saw there I wanted to also uh, talk about. Once, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit of fortune telling and who had brought her owners a great deal of money by predicting the future. She would follow Paul and us and shout, these men are servants of the Most High God and are proclaiming to you a way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days until Paul became annoyed, turned to her and told the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus the Messiah to come out of her. And it came out that very moment. When he, when her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone, they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the authorities who met together in the public square. They brought them before the magistrates and said, these men are stirring up a lot of trouble in our city. They are Jews and are advocating customs that we are not allowed to accept or practice as Romans. Mstari wa kumina sita, matenda mitume sura kumina sita. Ikawa tulipo kuwa tukienda mahali pale pa kusali, kijakazi moja liekuwa kuwa na pepo wa uaguzi, akatukuta aliewapatia buwana zake faida nyingi kwa kuagua. Haka mfuata paulo na sisi ya kipiga kelele, hakisema, watu hawa ni watumishi wa mungu alie juu, wenye kuahubiria njia ya wokovu akafanya hayo siku nyingi lakini Paulo akasikitika kageuka akamwambia yule pepo na kwa amuru kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mtoke huyu akamtoka saa ile ile basi bwana zake walipoona ya kuwa tumaini la faida yao limewapotea wakawakamata Paulo na Sila wakawakokota waka mpaka sokoni mbele ya wakuu wa, wa mji wakawachukua wakawachukua wa, wa, kwa makadhi wakasema Watu hao wanachafua sana mji mji wetu nao ni Wayahudi tena wanatangaza habari kuzipokea habari ya desturi zisizokuwa halali kwetu kuzipokea wala kuzifuata kwa kuwa sisi tu Warumi the crowd joined in attacking them and the magistrates tore the garments off them and gave orders to beat them with rods and when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw them into prison, ordering the jailer to keep them safely. Having received this order, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. Makutano wate wakaondoka wakawaendea makadhi wakawavua nguo zao kwa nguvu. Wakatoa amri wapigwe kwa bakora. Na walipokuisha kwa piga mapigo mengi wakawatupa gerezani wakamwamuru mlinzi wa gereza awalinde sana na akisha kupata amri hii akawatupa katika chumba cha ndani akawafunga miguu kwa mkatale may the lord bless his word bwana alibariki neno lake now as we are learning about discerning of spirits tukiendelea kujifundisha kuhusiana kupambanua roho this gift is like the nose the spiritual nose that smells the spiritual things hiki kipawa ni kama pua la kiroho linalonusia vitu vya kiroho it is like the spiritual eyes that are able to see into the spiritual realm ni kama macho ya kiroho ambayo yanaweza kuona mambo yatendekayo katika ulimwengu wa roho we are people who live in the physical realm sisi ni watu ambao tunaishi katika ulimwengu wa kiasili 
but affected so much by the things that happen in the spiritual realm lakini huathiriwa na vitu ambavyo vinatendeka katika ulimwengu wa kiroho but the day that we received Christ Jesus and received the holy spirit lakini siku ambayo tulimpokea roho mtakatifu na kupokea Kristo Yesu we have the ability and the capacity to be able to see things in the spiritual realm tuna uwezo wa kuona vitu vilivyomo katika ulimwengu wa kiroho and that is why as we have been learning i said na ndio maana wakati tumekuwa tukijifundisha kama nilivyosema that these gifts that have been received kwamba hivi vipawa ambavyo vimepokelewa on the day that we received and were filled with the holy spirit siku ambayo tulipokea na kujazwa na roho mtakatifu we were given supernatural ability tulipewa uwezo wa kiungu to be able to experience the spiritual realm while we are in the natural uweza kuona hata ulimwengu wa kiroho tukiwa katika ulimwengu wa kiasili praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lishifiwe but there are things that we may, we must do to sharpen our skills of the spiritual lakini lazima kuna vitu ambavyo lazima tufanye ndivyo tunoe makali ya kiroho and i said that we have to keep in touch in prayer na nilisema kwamba lazima tusalie katika maombi we must be filled with the spirit every now and then lazima tujazwe na roho mtakatifu kila wakati We must have a discipline of fasting. Lazima tukuwe na nidhamu katika uombeze ukufunga and we must be able to submit our lives to that uh, leading of the Holy Spirit. Na lazima tuweze kunyenyekea na kutiisha maisha yetu kwa mwongozo wa Roho Mtakatifu. We are seeing these happening to the apostle Paul and Silas. Tunaona haya kitendeka kwa mtume Paulo na Sila. This was a time they were in a city called Philippi. Walikuwa wakati ambapo walikuwa katika jiji liitwalo Filipo. It was just after they had preached to a lady called Lydia. Ilikuwa tu ni baada ya kumhubiria mwanamke aitwaye Lydia. Baptized her together with her whole household. Kumbatiza pamoja na nyumba yake. And preached in the neighborhood. Na kuhubiria hata katika majirani. And she besought them to stay with them. Na kawasihi kwamba wakae naye. That they were to, they were welcome to live with her ya kwamba walikuwa wamekaribishwa waishi naye katika nyumba yao because she had already accepted the lord kwa sababu alikuwa shamkubali bwana and she had confirmed they were servants of god alikuwa amethibitisha kwamba ni watumishi wa ukweli wa Mungu praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe and it is through that that paul were trying to set a base of ministering to the people na nikupitia hapo ndipo paulo walikuwa wanajaribu kuweka sasa msingi wa kuhudumu injili and it happens that the bible says is that as they were going to the place of prayer na inatendeka biblia inasema kwamba wakati walikuwa wanaenda mahali pa maombi now when we look at this character tukiangalia katika wahusika hawa it also reminds me of a text in the book of acts chapter 3 inanikumbusha pia maandiko katika matendo ya mitume 3 that peter and john kwamba petro na yohana were going to the temple at the time of prayer walikuwa wanaenda hekaluni katika saa ya maombi you can never be operating in the spirit unless you have a discipline of praying hauwezi kaenda katika ulimwengu wa kiroho kama hauna ile tabia ya kuomba and being intentional to go to a place of prayer na kukusudia kuenda mahali pa maombi and this time we are talking about the communal place of prayer na wakati huo tunaongea kuhusiana mahali pa maombi pa ushirika pa they could have prayed in the house wangeliomba katika vyumba vyao but they had a choice to go to the place of prayer lakini walikuwa na chaguo la kwenda mahali pao pa maombi praise the name of the lord because in those days kwa sababu siku zile there is a place that the lord had told the children of israel kuna mahali ambapo bwana alikuwa ameambia wana israel there would be a place where his name would be set kuna mahali ambapo jina lake lingewekwa where his name would be named ambapo jina lake lingeliitwa and that would be the place for prayer na hapo pange alikuwa mahali pa maombi a place where they would bring their sacrifices mahali ambapo angelileta dhabihu zao a place where the lord would be mahali ambapo bwana angalikuwa oh hallelujah hallelujah and here the apostles are going to that place na hapa mitume wanaenda mahali pale and apparently they are meeting with a slave girl na inabainika kwamba wanakutana na mwanamke na na msichana ambaye ni kijakazi now there is something i want to speak about that slave girl kuna kitu ambacho nataka kuongelea huyo kijakazi this girl was a slave to a spirit huyo msichana alikuwa kijakazi wa roho and she was a slave to the masters na pia alikuwa kijakazi kwa mabwana she was spiritually a slave alikuwa mtumwa kiroho and physically she was also a slave na pia alikuwa mtumwa kiasili there were those who were using her to make money through her spiritual gift 
driven by demons kuna wale ambao walikuwa na chuma pesa kupitia kwa kipawa chake cha kiroho ambacho kilielekezwa na mapepo those who are mentioned here as the owners wale ambao umetajwa hapa kwamba wao ndio walikuwa in other words they owned her kwa maneno mengine walimiliki like a piece of property kama kama mali so she was a slave twice kwa hivyo alikuwa mtumwa mara mbili oh hallelujah hallelujah my prayer is that none should be a slave ombi langu ni kwamba yote asiwe mtumwa to the demonic world kwa ulimwangu wa kipepo neither to human beings na sio kwa wanadamu pia who are taking advantage of you wana kutumia vibaya and here what what we are learning is that this woman was possessed by a spirit of divination and fortune telling hapa kile tunafundishwa ni kwamba huyu mwanamke alikuwa amepagawa na roho ya waguzi now fortune uh, uh, this divination hi waguzi the bible warns us against operating or accessing this spirit of divination biblia inatoonya dhidi ya kuendea hii roho ya uchawi ama waguzi Bear with me my voice is breaking today. Muniwia radhi sauti yangu. I'm having an issue with my throat. Do not turn Le- Leviticus 19:31. Mambo ya Walawi 19:31. Do not turn to mediums or seek spiritists for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord God, the Lord your God. Biblia inasema Msiwaende wenye pepo wala wachawi msiwatafute ili kutiwa unajisi na wao mimi ndimi bwana Mungu wenu When you also read Exodus 22:18 Ukisoma pia kitabu cha kutoka 22:18 The Lord had given commands that you should not allow sorcerers to live Pia bwana alikuwa amepeana amri ya kwamba msiwaruhusu wachawi waishi This was so serious that God had given a command that don't associate them in other words I don't want even them to live Hilo jambo lilikuwa mbaya zaidi kwa kiwango kwamba Mungu alikuwa ameamrisha kwamba awasijihusishe na wao na hata hakutaka hata waishi and this other spirit of fortune telling or prediction of the future Na hilo ingine ya ya kubashiri siku zijazo has been mistaken as a gift of prophecy ime ime tumiwa ikadhaniwa kwamba ndio roho ya unabii and that is where people are manipulated by such people who operate in such a spirit na hapo ndipo watu wanadanganywa na wale watu ambao wanatenda kazi katika hiyo roho ya uaguzi na ubashiri calling themselves prophets wanajiita manabii katika uh, mabana but they are not operating under the holy spirit lakini hawatendi kazi chini ya roho mtakatifu and that is why the gift of discerning of spirits is very important ndio maana kipawa cha kupambanua roho ni muhimu mno because this spirit as i said is a nose and an eye kwa sababu hii roho na waliwaambia kwamba ni jicho na ni pua it helps us to distinguish utusaidia kutofautisha between the spirit of satan katikati ya roho ya shetan that is evil spirits roho mbaya ovu and god spirit that is the holy spirit na roho wa mungu ambaye ni roho mtakatifu and also it helps us to distinguish the spirit of man na pia hutusaidia kutambua na kutofautisha roho ya mwanadamu to understand that there are three types of spirits operating on planet earth nilitaka tuelewe kwamba kuna aina tatu ya roho ambazo zinatenda kazi hapo limbo there is the holy spirit kuna roho mtakatifu who comes from god ajaye toka kwa mungu there is the evil spirit kuna roho mwovu which come from satan atokaye kwa shetani i want you to note that the holy spirit is singular nataka niwaambie mjue kwamba roho mtakatifu ni mmoja but the evil spirits are plural lakini roho ovu ni maroho mengi meaning that there are many kumaanisha kwamba ni mengi but the holy spirit manifests in one lakini roho mtakatifu anadhihirika mmoja but distributes gifts lakini anagawanya vipawa are we together je tuko pamoja praise the name of the lord when you understand this facts they liberate you ukielewa kweli huu utakweka huru hallelujah amen and then there is the human spirit kisha kuna roho ya mwanadamu hallelujah amen you've heard me say so many times nimenisikia nikisema mara nyingi 
Dealing with evil spirits is easier than dealing with the human spirit. Kukabiliana na roho ovu ni rahisi kuliko na kukabiliana na roho ya mwanadamu. Because the evil spirit obeys commands. Kwa sababu roho ovu hutii amri. But the spirit of man you have to negotiate. Lakini roho ya mwanadamu lakini kwanza mjadiliane. Good afternoon. Habari ya dhuhuri. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I may tell you that we want to do this but because your human spirit is against it you may just keep silent and not even follow what we are saying to you. Na ndio maana naweza kuambia kwamba nataka tufanye hili lakini roho yako ya mwanadamu itakufanya unyamaze hata sasa husemi na ufuati. We cannot cast out the human spirit. Hatuwezi tukakemea roho ya mwanadamu. You can only allow to let go the human spirit in you. Utaruhusu tu roho ya mwanadamu ndani yako iende. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it home ama nirudie tena? Nirudie tena eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord himself said, Bwana mwenyewe alisema, My soul shall not wrestle with the spirit of man. Roho yangu haitamenyana na roho ya mwanadamu. Genesis 11 because everything that he thinks is evil kwa sababu kila kitu anachokifikiri ni kiovu if god cannot wrestle with my spirit or your spirit kama mungu hawezi akashindana na roho yako ama roho yangu it is the same way that as a man i cannot wrestle with your spirit ni vivyo hivyo mimi kama mwanadamu siwezi kushindana na roho yako that is why when i disagree with you ndio maana nikikosa kwa lewana na wewe one of you mmoja wenu you tend to mobilize others to disagree with me una watafuta wengine ili kwamba wakose kuelewana na yet the problem i have is one me and you ili, not them ili hali shida ambayo tuko nayo ni mmoja mimi na wewe the spirit wow. of man in operation hiyo ni roho ya mwanadamu inatenda kazi oh hallelujah hallelujah that is why you will find that you when someone doesn't agree with what you are saying ndio maana utapata kwamba mtu kama hakubaliani na kila ambacho unasema even in a group hata katika kikundi or in a fellowship ama katika ushirika and he or she wants to leave na anataka kuondoka doesn't want to live alone hataki kwenda peke yake yet he never brought a single person ili hali hakuleta mtu hata mmoja she has never preached to anyone ajayubiria yote she has never brought anyone to the group but because kikundi. she or he has not agreed with the leader lakini kwa sababu hajakubaliana na kiongozi He wants to cause havoc. Anataka kuleta fujo and live with somebody. Na aondoke na mtu. The human spirit's influence. Roho athari ya roho ya mwanadamu. And the Lord classifies those as sorcerers. Na Bwana anawaita hao wachawi. So to God you are not worthy to live kwa but kwa to be dead. Kwa hivyo kwa Mungu haustahili kuishi unafaa kufa. Very strong words eh. Maneno mazito. We, are, we have just read a text Simbio. that is what the lord says and when he said that my spirit shall not wrestle with the spirit of man he decided to kill them hallelujah amen all the way from chapter number 6 of genesis you can find all those statements kutoka sura ya 6 kitabu cha mwanzo ukiendelea utapata wrestling with man Mungu akimenyana na mwanadamu that after Cain killed Abel Ya kwamba baada ya Kaini kumua Abeli and you find there are things that started happening Na utapata kuna vitu vilianza kutendeka Praise the name of the Lord Jina la Bwana Yesu lisifiwe You find that there was some music Utapata kwamba kulikuwa na muziki There are some men like called Juba Kulikuwa kulinuka watu waliitwa Juba and the spirit of murder started happening Na roho ya mauaji ikaanza kutendeka The spirit of polygamy started happening Roho ya kwa wake wengi Hello. Hello. Students of the Bible. <laughs> When you read the scripture, you will begin to see those things. And when it comes then the spirit of drunkenness begins to happen. Genesis chapter number 8. And the men started to multiply. And when they begin to multiply, they say we are going to build a high tower. Let us go and invade God. The spirit of man and god comes down and confuses all of them hallelujah hallelujah so these are some of the things i'm talking about here. and that is where the gift of the 
spirit of discernment is important na hapo ndipo kipawa cha roho ya kupambanua kupambanua roho kinapatikana that we may be able to discern kwamba tuweze kupambanua the origin of certain actions asili ya vitu fulani certain teachings mafundisho fulani certain circumstances hali fulani certain diseases magonjwa fulani certain certain things misfortunes that are happening mikosi fulani ambayo inatukia that we must be able to discern where they are coming from kwamba lazima tuweze kupambanua ni wapi wanatokea let, let me give you a definition of divination wacha niwape maelezo ya ya, ya uaguzi ya mshirikina this word divination ili neno uaguzi it is a very interesting word ni neno la ajabu and it originated from a the greek mythology in greece lilitokana na historia za wagiriki and it was in a place where there was a python serpent kulikuwa na mahali ambapo kulikuwa na nyoka aina ya chatu or a dragon ama nyoka in a region that was called pytho mahali ambapo pale palito pytho at a foot of a mountain or a hill called Panassus. Chini ya mlima ulikuwa unaitwa Panassus. So now I want you to see something here. Nataka uone kitu hapa. This is a spirit that was operating and camouflaging in the name of a serpent or a dragon. Hii ni roho ambayo ilikuwa inataenda kazi lakini imejificha katika jina la joka. In the in the book of Revelation you will see the scripture refer to Satan as the dragon and the serpent Utapata kwamba maandiko yanamuita shetani kuwa yeye joka In the Genesis chapter number 2 3 somewhere there you'll find the serpent coming to deceive Eve Mwanzo sura ya pili tatu pale utapata kwamba nyoka ndiye anakuja kumdanganya Precisely in chapter number 3 Katika sura ya tatu. The Bible says the serpent was more subtle. Biblia nasema kwamba nyoka alikuwa mjanja zaidi. And this spirit of divination na hii roho ya wagu operates under a serpent spirit. Inafanya kazi chini ya roho ya nyoka. It has the characteristics of subtlety. Ina 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 mienendo ya ya ujanja. Uh, ujanja. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And That is why it is able to deceive many even believers in the body of Christ. Yo maana inaweza kudanganya wengi hata waumini katika mwili wa Kristo. It comes and pretends to be like the spirit of prophecy. Huja na kujifanya kwamba ni roho ya unabii. It will tell you things that actually have happened to your life. Itakwambia vitu ambavyo kweli vimetendeka katika maisha yako. And it will purport to tell you about things in the future. Na itajifanya kukwambia vitu kuhusiana na siku zako za usoni. I want to say now here and then. Nataka kuambia hapa sasa. That the devil knows all your past. Kwamba ibilisi anajua siku zako zote za kale. He knows your present what will happen now. But he doesn't know you are tomorrow until and unless God makes an announcement about you. That is why he will capitalize on that. And here many are walking defiled. Who have encountered people who are operating in the spirits of divination maana wamekutana na watu ambao wanatenda kazi katika roho ya waguzi what we have read in leviticus kila ambacho tumesoma katika mambo ya walao the bible says getting into contact with diviners defiles you biblia inasema kwamba kuhusiana na washirikina na wachawi na waguzi huku na this brings about rejection from god na hili huleta kukataliwa na bwana there are many who may be walking today kuna wengi ambao wanaweza kuwa natenda born again spirit filled wamekoka Hoping and believing they are going to heaven. But in the real sense they are walking under the rejection of God. Because they have encountered people of the spirit of divination. They are walking under the spell of this serpent spirit. Oh hallelujah. And that's why we are seeing the apostle Paul here. And your man tunaona mtume Paul The Bible says he was going and this girl was announcing them for many days. Biblia nasema alikuwa anaenda na huyu msichana alikuwa anawatangaza msiku nyingi. Was she saying the truth? Yes. 
she was proclaiming these are men they are servants of the most high God who proclaim to you the way of salvation isn't that true hallelujah free advertisement by the agent of the devil my great friend says this and I love to quote him he comes from Zimbabwe he says that when God wants a field plowed he will cause even the devil to pull the plow the devil will always obey the voice of God he may seem to rebel but when God gives a command he will obey that's why in Job chapter number 1 the Bible says on the day that the sons of God came together before God the devil himself was also among them and when the discussion about Job and the devil sought permission to attack Job the Lord allowed him but he told him his soul you can never touch and the devil obeyed he touched the body but the soul was preserved no wonder Job was always saying even though you slay me yet I will continue believing in you oh hallelujah that shows how the devil can submit to the authority of God he has got limits that's why God has anointed you that's why God has filled you with the spirit so that when God wants the devil to submit he will submit through your word in the Lord you speak oh hallelujah glory to God so now the Bible says this girl possessed by this spirit she caused this commotion she announced and it was true but Paul was annoyed why was he annoyed because he discerned this spirit was not of God the gift of discernment was manifest and he knew if he did not do something after they had left all the gains were going to be left down because people are going to focus back on this girl they would turn and say the one who announced the man of God is here so let's go and hear what she says and she would reconvert them back to their old ways hallelujah so that's why the apostle Paul says he confronted this lady he confronted this girl and he said I command you in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to, to understand two things here the name Jesus is a common name there are people who are called Jesus even today hello hello even the one who sold me my car is called Jesus yes from Philippines so I'm talking about something I know but there is something that puts his name differently the authority mamlaka jesus Christ. Yesu Christ. Christ speaks about the anointing one. It speaks about the Messiah. Joshua al Mashiach. Joshua al Mashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointed one. The mandated one. The good news carrier. The salvation plan of God. And this is what submits the kingdom of darkness. And that's why when Paul is rebuking and commanding this spirit he uses both names the name Jesus 
Christ. Jina Yesu Kristo. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. He did not speak about fire. Hakuongea kuhusiana moto. He did not speak about water. Hakuongea kuhusiana maji. He did not speak about the rod of Moses. Hakuongea kuhusiana fimbo ya Musa. Neither the stone of David. Hakuongea kuhusiana jiwe. Neither the holy handkerchief. Wala kitambaa kitakatifu. But he spoke about the name of Jesus Christ. Jina la Yesu Kristo. That is the name that has power. Ndilo jina lilo lana nguvu. That is why. Ndio maana. Paul later on says. Paul baada ya But after Jesus died and he was buried God resurrected him and gave him the name that is above every other name this is the name that subdues every spirit of divination every forces of darkness at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord is the King of kings, the soon coming Messiah, who is coming to take his church home. This is the name I'm talking about. It's the name that stopped this nonsense of this girl, this slave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she got delivered from the spiritual enslavement. But the physical enslavement, the owner still wanted her. But they discovered the gift had gone. She was not fortune telling again. I want you to know these friends that wherever there is the spirit of divination the spirit of fortune telling there is that element of making money they will always ask for money hallelujah you will always have to visit them in their houses of prayer with fat envelopes naibasha no 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 because they are in business kwa sababu wamo kwenye biashara hello hello they are in business wamo kwenye biashara the same way these guys were in business vipyo hivyo hawa jamaa walikuwa katika biashara no wonder they were so ticked up si ajabu walikasirishwa sana that they dragged Paul and Silas kwamba wakamkokota Paulo na Sila they beat them up wakawachapa you know sometimes after great victory wajua nyakati zingine baada ya ushindi mkuu it is not hallelujah glory sio hallelujah utukufu there will be some counter attack and backlashes kutakuepo na kurejelewa na vita na kulipiziwa kisasi but this did not stop these guys lakini hili halikuzuia hao even when they are chained in the inner chamber hata wakati wamefungiwa kwenye chumba cha ndani they still sang bado waliimba they still praised bado walishifu they still worship bado waliabudu and the chains fell off na nyororo zilianguka You can never deliver someone and you fail to be delivered yourself. The deliverance you carry for someone is also an investment of your own deliverance. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is not evil to forget. Your work and labor of love Hebrews 6:10. But he will also reward you. In due time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you minister to the saints the Lord will still remember you as you minister in his field the Lord will still remember you so long as you minister with a whole heart I've always said and I keep saying there are many with a spirit that after they do their thing they walk out and they say sasa mimi yangu nimemaliza sihitaji kusikiza neno kuna wengine wako na ile roho wakishafanya kitu yao wanaondoka wanasema ah nimemaliza zamu yangu sasa si mambo ya neno sio yangu that is not ministry hiyo sio huduma that's a different class hiyo ni ni, ni kiwango kingine i don't have the name but i'll create a name for it sina jina lakini nitalitengenezea jina you can be assured it will not be a, a good sounding name <laughs> <laughs> but 
Praise the name of the Lord. That we have to minister to God. And also be ready to be ministered to. The Bible says he who waters will also be watered. You don't know how many sermons I, re- I listen to in a week. I make sure that every day I also listen to three sermons. From three different preachers. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let, let's get back to this. So, as I have said, the discerning of spirit helps us to be able to discern what is happening in the spiritual world. And then it helps us to understand the type of sickness, what spirit is causing it, so that when we are dealing with it, we can address that spirit directly and somebody is delivered. Just the same way Paul discerned it was a, a spirit of divination and fortune telling. When you read Mark chapter 5, okay. Luke chapter 8, you will see even how Jesus operated. You can go and read those at home. Because such a gift operated. And this is where you will find that the evil spirit or the demons that were possessing this man they had to give some information when Jesus asked who are you the demons answered through the vocal cords of this man and said we are legion for we are many it is not always that we must believe these evil spirits when they tell us or give us information. Because at times they will lie. They come from a foundation of deception. John chapter 8. Their father is the devil who is the father of all lies. That is where discernment is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is where now you don't have to spend more time giving the microphones. Who are you? Tell us. Don't, don't give them kingdom airtime. Praise the name of the Lord. Why do they give such information? Because they know the person who has discerned them is mandated and been given the authority to cast them out. So they are under bondage of authority to release the information. That's why that gift is very important. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get to the next one. The gift of faith. There is general faith. Let's read 1 Corinthians 12.9. It speaks about to another, to another faith by the same spirit. You'll notice spirit is capitalized. To another the gifts of healing by the same spirit again capitalized. Mwingine imani katika roho yeye yule utagundua kwamba neno roho limeandikwa katika herufi kubwa na mwingine karama za kuponya katika roho yule mmoja Now let, let me talk about faith Hebu niongee kuhusiana na imani There is what we call general seed faith Kuna ile tunaita mbegu ya kijumla ya imani And there is the gift of faith Na kuna kipawa cha imani Now these are two different Hivi ni vipawa hivi ni mambo mawili The seed of faith as spoken of in Romans 10 Mbegu ya imani kama vile imenenwa katika Warumi 12 It speaks about faith 
comes by hearing inaongea kuhusiana na imani huja kwa kusikia warumi so whatever you expose yourself to hearing kwa hivyo kila ambacho unapeana masikio yako kusikia it cultivates a type of faith upalilia ina flani ya imani if you are always hearing iwapo kila wakati unasikia negating words about somebody mambo mabaya kuhusiana na mtu someone who wants to recruit you mtu anataka kukuchukua because they are in disagreement with another person kwa sababu hawakubaliani na mtu mwingine and they are trying to tell you the bad about the other person na wanajaribu kukuambia ubaya wa yule mtu mwingine they build you a negative faith Wana, on the person wanakujengea imani mbaya kuhusiana na huyo mtu and at the end of the day you end up hating the person na hatimaye utamchukia huyo mtu so you have built kwa hivyo umejenga faith on what you have heard imani kuhusiana na kila mbaya there are people you can talk to kuna watu naweza waongelesha who are always positive ambao kila wakati wanaongea they are talking mazo. about their ability we Wana, can do it wanaongea kuhusiana uwezo wao they are encouraging you wanakuhimiza that even if you had low self esteem kwa sababu hata kama ulikuwa uko chini this person will encourage you and tell you no huyo mtu atakutia mwana then tell you what the word of god says about you kila macho neno la mungu linasema kuku that you are able kwa sababu unaweza you will do it utaweza you can make it unaweza and you find that you are being pumped up na unapata kwamba unatiwa nguvu and you develop positive faith na unakuwa na imani nzuri haleluya haleluya and that's why you have to be very careful ndio maana lazima ukwe when someone okay. talks to you negative about somebody don't believe them mtu akukunenea mabaya kuhusiana na wengine usiwaamini tu they are injecting a wrong seed of faith in you wanadunga imani mbaya imani ndani mwako whatever you hear chochote usikiacho has the power to create faith in you kina nguvu cha kutengeneza imani so what kind of faith are you building imani gani unajenga ndani mwako so faith comes by hearing kwa imani huja kwa kusikia and by hearing the word of god ni kwa kusikia neno la mungu because it is the god knew that if he left it there by hearing kwa sababu mungu alijua kwamba akiacha hapo tu kwa kusikia then you would hear so many things Basi and utasikia, build negative faith utasikia vitu vingi sana na utajenga imani mbaya but the word of god builds positive lakini neno la mungu hujenga imani nzuri oh hallelujah hallelujah And that is one. And yo, hiyo ni moja. That is one. Hiyo ni moja. Of the general faith. Ya imani ya The faith you had and then you received Jesus. Imani ambayo ulisikia na ukampokea Yesu. The day you had the gospel. Siku kwamba ulisikia injili. It cultivated faith for you to believe in the savior. Ilipalilia imani ndani mwako kuamini katika And that is when now you gave your life. Na hapo ndipo ulipeana maisha yako. And then as you grow in the faith. Na unapendelea kukua katika imani. Now there is that moment that God will deposit the gift of faith in you. Sasa kuna ule wakati kwamba Mungu atatia kipawa cha imani ndani. The gift of faith is deposited. Kipawa cha imani hutiwa ndani mwako. Or endowed in a person. Ama uvishwa mtu. That is spirit filled. Kwa ambaye amejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. That is a believer of Christ. Ambaye ni muumini katika Kristo. For a task beyond the natural kwa ajili ya kazi ambayo ni zaidi ya ulimwengu wa kiasili it is supernatural enablement ni uwezesho wa kiungu to accomplish extraordinary purpose or agenda kutimiza makusudi yasiyo kawaida haleluya amen it gives the believer capacity mpo muumini uweza to be able wakuweza to do exploits for god kufanya malipoko kwa ajili ya mungu haleluya haleluya if i may use my example i came to kasarani had never known kasarani nilikuja kasarani sikuwa ni maiji wa kasarani i only heard about kasarani sports complex nilikuwa nasikia tu kuhusiana na uwanja wa mchezo wa kasarani so i thought kasarani is the playing ground the field international complex nilidhani kwamba kasarani tu ni ule uwanja wa mchezo but the day the lord spoke to me lakini siku ambayo bwana alinenena and i heard him very clearly ani kamsikia wazi wazi go to kasarani enenda kasarani he deposited a supernatural gift of faith alitia ndani mwangu kipawa kisicho cha kawaida cha kiungu and courage to be able to leave a church of over 7000 ujasiri wa kuacha kanisa la watu zaidi ya 7000 where my bishop ambapo askofu wangu had wanted me to deputize him alitaka niwe naibu wake but because god had spoken lakini kwa sababu mungu alikuwa amenena and this seed of faith in me na hii mbegu ya imani ndani mwangu was telling me you don't belong here you belong to kasarani niambia wewe sio wa hapa wewe ni wa kasarani a place i've never been mahali sikwa ni maienda a place i've never seen mahali sijaiona and i had to come find this place na ilibidi nikuja nitafute mahali hapa to come and start the fellowship kuja kuanzisha ushirika and because of that 
kwa sababu ya hayo it kept on staring me iliendelea kuniikora i have to go lazima niende yes i could have stayed and earned a good salary ni kweli ningeendelea kusalia pale na nipate i could have stayed and uh, and you know preaching to over 7000 people is glorious ningeendelea kukana unajua kuhubiria watu 7000 you feel like a like somebody unaishi wewe ni kamtu but i kept on talking to my bishop lakini niliendelea kuongea na askofu wangu you must let me go lazima uniachilie he told me go and pray again aliniambia ndoomba pray because i want you here kwa sababu nakutaka hapa i need you here nakuhitaji hapa you are a good asset here wewe ni 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 ni, ni, ni mtu wa faida i hapa. could go pray na ningeenda go back to him na narudi kwake and tell him papa namwambia baba i really have to go lazima niende and he could say ah angesema ah why must you go bona uende why go to struggle bona uende kungangana we have already made it here tayari tumeweza hapa but faith in me I, lakini imani na ni mwangu that seed of faith hiyo mbegu ya imani hallelujah hallelujah that gift of faith hicho kipao cha imani told me go niliniambia niende and the day came na, siku ikaja and the lord spoke to him na bwana akamnenea release the young man achilie huyo kijana together with his family pamoja na family yake my children were small watoto wangu walikuwa wadogo my son was still in the hands of the mother mwanangu bado alikuwa kulelewa the girl was walking msichana alikuwa anatembea and finding her way singing in the choir na akakuwa anaanza kupata njia ya kuimba katika choir and when we went in front na wakati tulienda mbele she jumped from wherever she was and came to the platform aliruka kutoka mahali alikuwa akakuja kwenye duka four of us tukiwa wanne and we were prayed for na tukaombewa and we were released na tukaachiliwa for that gift of faith to begin working ili hicho kipawa cha imani kianza kutenda kazi it takes a sacrifice inagarimu kujitolea it takes an act of faith inagarimu tendo la imani you have to risk lazima ujihatari in order to see it manifest ili uone kidhirika here we are today hapa sisi tuko leo something supernatural has happened ever since kitu cha kiungu kimetendeka kutoka kwa keeps on happening inaendelea kutendeka people are getting saved watu wanaokolewa people are getting healed watu wanapokea people are getting blessed watu wanabarikiwa people are getting delivered watu wanakombolewa things are happening mambo yanatendeka people are being prospered watu wanafanikishwa why kwa nini because that gift of faith kwa sababu hicho kipawa cha imani is acting in diverse ways in operation kinatenda kazi katika njia tofauti au tendaji kazi praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lishifiwe believe has the capacity to grow in faith. Muumini ana uwezo wa kukua katika imani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are examples that I want to give you. Kuna mifano ambayo nataka kuwapa. Matthew chapter 14. Mathayo 14. The Bible speaks about Peter in verse 29. Biblia inaongelea Petro katika misri ya 29. When he saw Jesus walk on the river on the sea. Yesu akitembea kwenye bahari. And he was coming to them they were in the boat. Na alikuwa anakuja kwa alikuwa alikuwa kwenye chombo. The Bible says they were so terrified. Biblia inasema kwamba waliogopa. They thought it was a ghost. Walidhani kwamba ni roho. But Peter when he looked lakini Petro alipata zamu. And he said, "Master, akasema, hey, bwana, if you are the one, iwapo ni wewe. Bid me to come to you." Niite nije kwako. And Jesus said, "Come." Na Yesu akasema, "Njo." Peter, Pet- the gift of faith started in him. Kipawa cha imani kipawa cha out of the water. Akakanyaga nje. And he started walking. Na akaanza kutembea towards Jesus. Kuelekea Yesu. Because of the word Jesus had spoken to him. Kwa sababu ya neno ambalo Yesu alikuwa anamnenea. But apparently, lakini inabainika, doubt came in. Shaka ikaja. He was so focused on the environment. Akaangalia sana jinsi mahali. The gift of faith will not cause you to focus on the environment. Hakitakusababisha uangalie It doesn't focus on circumstances. Aiangalie hali zilivyo. It focuses on God. Uangalia Mungu. It focuses on the giver of faith. Uangalia mpeanaji imani. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why Hebrews chapter 11 says. Kwa maana Hebrewia 11:11 anasema, Faith imani is a substance. Ibayana of things hope to fall. Ya mambo yanayotumainiwa. It is something you can hold on to. Ni kitu ambacho unaweza shikilia. It is the evidence ni bayana of what you don't see. Ya mambo wapa. I give an example in the morning. Nilipeana mfano asubuhi. That the same way you went to bed last Kama night. Kama baba ulienda kwa nyakiti ya You had a plan you would wake up and come to church. Ulipanga kwamba utaamka uje kanisa. You had a plan you would wear what you are wearing Ulipanga today. Ulipanga utavalia ile nguo umevalia leo. You had a plan you would sit in the second service. Ulikuwa umepanga kwamba utakuwa kwenye ibada ya pili. It is the same kind of faith I'm talking about. Ni hiyo imani ambayo naongelea. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. That it is a substance. Ya kwamba ni bayana. The evidence of the day. Bayana ya siku. You didn't know what tomorrow would hold up for you. Kwa kesho iko na nini kwa ajili yako? But now that you are here. Lakini sasa uko hapa. It is evidence of what you believed yesterday. Ni bayana ya kila ambacho uliamini jana. 
That is how faith operates. And whoever who comes to the Lord must believe that he is. In verse number 6 that you have to believe that he is. What does that mean? Means that he is able. Means that he exists. Means that he is all powerful. Means that he is dependable. You can trust in him. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. He never changes. Abadiliki. He is still there. Yeah, the ancient of days. Yeah, he to... never changes. Abadiliki. That's why we are not consumed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he can do Abana, what you ask him believing. Kila you only need him. to connect with him in faith. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Seeking God is not a one-time thing. It is an always every moment thing. That the more you seek God, the more you will get a reward. The more you will get an answer to what you are praying for. You must be diligent. And if you are not diligent, you must be praying for what you are praying for. You must be diligent. And you must be consistent. And you must persist. Believe in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't want to dwell there. Let me give you examples of men. In the same chapter, it is called the hall of faith. There are men that have been talked about. Beginning with Abel. By faith, he offered a perfect sacrifice. That even in your day to day offering, you offer. You must seek to please God with what you put on the altar. You must be intentional and deliberate. You must be able to give him the best that will please him. You must have God in your mind every time you want to give. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, people, we don't like to hear about giving. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, I was thinking about the text that was read here. In Exodus 35. That the Lord was saying. Tell the, the command this. This is what the Lord commands. Moses is saying to the whole house of Israel that take my offering from them. Did you know you, you have things which belong to God? <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You walk into this place into a place of worship. You are carrying things that belong to God. And he's saying, command these people. Not, not plead with them. Command them. They bring my things. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we have not asked you to bring the gold. They were commanded to bring the gold. In other words, the gold they had borrowed from the Egyptians belonged to God. Not them. Yes, they were carrying it. They didn't know where they were going to sell it. They had the gold, but they were carrying it. But God knew this is mine. You are only carriers of the things of God. The life you have, you are carrying it for God. The wealth you have, you are carrying it for God. The marriage you have, you are carrying it for God. The children you have, you are carrying them for God. The business you have, you are carrying it for God. There is a day that God will command you to bring it to him. Blessed are you when you obey. The gold, the silver, the bronze, the blue, the purple, the scarlet, the yarn, and even everything, even goat hair. Mm. The habu, uh, the habu na feather na shaba na nyuzi za rangi ya samawi na za rangi ya zambarao na za rangi nyekundu na kitani nzuri na singa zambuzi. 
that even the goats the cows that you have in your house that hair belongs to the lord hata kondo mbuzi ambao uko nao huko nyumbani singa zake ama zile nywele zake ni za mungu even the wood the leather the oil the light the spices the anointing oil the fresh acha nitoke hapo na ngozi za kondoo waume zilizotiwa rangi nyekundu na ngozi za paumbo na mbao za mshita na mafuta kwa hiyo viungo vya yote acha tutoke hapo even the strength you have it belongs to the lord hata nguvu ulizonazo ni za bwana that's why jesus said you shall love the lord where you are god with all your heart with all your mind with all your strength na ndio maana Yesu akasema kwamba utampenda Bwana Mungu wako na nguvu zako zote na akili zako zote na mawazo yako yote. That's why you see me do things without compromise. Ndio maana unaona nafanya mambo pasipokuridhiana. Because I know whatever I have and I am belongs to him. Kwa sababu ninajua chochote nilichonacho na chochote nilicho ni cha Mungu. So the whole of faith. Kwa hivyo jumba la imani. There are men that are spoken there. Kuna watu ambao wameongelewa. There is Abel. Kuna Abel. There is Sarah. Kuna Sarah. There is Abraham. Kuna Abraham. There are many more when you read on. Na wengi zaidi ukisoma ukiendelea. They are all men who operated in the gift of faith. Ni wote ni watu ambao walitenda kazi katika kipawa cha imani. They did things out of the ordinary. Walifanya vitu visivyo vya kawaida. Abraham was told that you shall be a father. Abraham aliambiwa kwamba utakuwa baba. Age 100. Akiwa na Sarah at age 90. Sarah miaka 90. She had covered menopause twice. Alikuwa ameenda kwa ile menopause wakati ambapo mwanamke hawezi akazaa tena mara mbili. Amepita mara mbili. <laughs> It required faith. <laughs> Ilihitaji imani, kipawa cha imani. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why she laughed. Ndio maana alicheka and she said. Na akasema this kind of god is funny. Mungu kama wewe ni waajabu. Doesn't he know the numbers? Hajui hesabu. Doesn't he know how many birthdays I've celebrated? Wani hajui nimesherekea siku za kuzaliwa mara ngapi? And he's talking about giving children. Na anaongea kuhusiana kunipa. And he looked and he said there is a haga there. Na akaangalia akasema Maybe he's, he's talking about this one. Na anaongelea huyu and cost abraham to fail na akasababisha abraham akaanguka and that's why in chapter 17 na ndio maana katika sura 17 after abraham has failed in chapter 16 baada ya abraham kuanguka katika 16 the lord appears to abraham and tells him abraham bwana anamuonekania abraham anamwambia before me and be perfect tembea mbele zangu enenda mbele zangu na uwe mkamilifu stop his story ya mpango wa kando na haga waacha story ya mpango wa kando ni wewe tu na sara ndio nataka kuona hapa mm Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Yetuache kando. Joshua. Joshua. Joshua commanded the sun and the moon to stand still in chapter number 10. Joshua aliamrisha jua na mwezi kusimama katika sura ya 10, Joshua. The gift of faith. Kipawa cha imani will cause you to go beyond the natural. Kitakusababisha uende zaidi ya mambo ya asili. The natural will say this is impossible. Mambo ya asili itasema kwamba hili haliwezekani. But the spirit who is in you who is supernatural. Lakini roho ambayo yuko ndani mwako ambayo ni will raise you up. Atakuinua juu. My Bible says in the book of Ephesians. Biblia yangu inasema katika Efeso that the Lord God has raised us. Baba Bwana Mungu ametuinua. Blessed us in the heavenly places. Seated us in Christ and in God above every power above every authority above every principality above all the rulers of this world so if he has placed you in the supernatural it means there are things you can control in the natural hey, hallelujah there are things you can control in the natural because that gift of faith in you it is something that can break through the natural you can change the situation hallelujah 
when you rise and look inside and realize what God has deposited in you Jesus Christ the hope of glory he is in you when things are hopeless you have hope in you when things are going haywire you have the problem solver in you when diseases are rising you have the power and the mandate in you who can change things the Bible says in the book of Job 22-28 a man shall decree a thing and it shall be established I don't know what God wants you to decree there is something that you are supposed to decree it is in Job 22 hallelujah you shall decree he's talking to men am I talking to men am I talking to women am I talking Talking to children of men, you shall decree, shall speak about continuance. Hey, you need to be decreed. Don't be silent. You need to speak. Speak the word of faith. The word that you know is the word that works for you. The word that you know is the word that shows you what is in the spirit. Joshua declared hey, there is a lot of work to be done there are many enemies we are yet to clear with and he saw the evening is coming the sun is sinking at the valley of Ajalon and Joshua stands he avoids the enemies and looks to the sun he was not afraid of being slaughtered because the enemies who are coming when you focus to God the enemies are confused he looked to the sun and he said sun I command you to stand still he looked to the moon and he said moon you are not coming out and if you have already come out stand where you are you liquor for us we need your light there is work to be done we don't want anything hidden shine in every place where the enemy can hide we have to finish with them may the moon stand still may the sun stand still so that you may annihilate every spiritual enemy every demonic spirit that has been terrorizing you let it stand still there is work to be done ah, ah. glory to God hallelujah. hallelujah the gift of faith will cause you to alter to alter the natural seasons you will stop it oh my bible talks about Isaac Genesis 26 it was the season of drought and famine and Isaac was in a strange land the season was not favorable but because he could discern into the spirit and knew about the creation motif that they did not need rain Adam did not need rain to till the garden of Eden he only needed God <laughs> because the mist would come and Isaac knew the secret he looked at the seed the beans maybe the beans or whatever he looked at it and so it was not enough for food if it is not enough for eating then that is the seed he sowed it and harvested a hundred na akavuna asilimia 100 fold asilimia 100 hey mm. 
May you discern the seasons. Na uweza kupambanua majira. May the seed of faith work for you. Na mbegu ya imani kutendee kazi. That you may risk and sow. Kwamba ujatarisha na upande. In a season that natural does not talk to. Katika majira ambayo mambo ya asili hayaongelee. But the voice of the supernatural. Lakini sauti ya kiungu. Speaks Unena. and changes the calendar of the natural. Na kalenda ya asili. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Oh I feel the fire in this Nina place. Moto mahali hapa. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Let me give you one more example. Wacha nikupe mfano mwingine mmoja. Because time is gone. Kwa sababu wakati umeenda. First Kings chapter 17. Falme wa kwanza 17. There is a man called Elijah. Kuna mwana mmoja anaitwa Elia. He is also mentioned in James 5:17. Ametajwa pia katika Yakobo 5:17. It was a time. Ilikuwa ni wakati. That people were not worshiping God. Kwa watu hawa kwa namaabudu Mungu. People had rebelled. Watu walikuwa wameasi they were misbehaving na walikuwa wanaenda vibaya Ahab and Jezebel Ahab na Jezebel but Elijah lakini Elia a man full of faith wanaume aliojana na imani the gift of faith was operating in him imani kilikuwa anatana kazi ndani mwake he had talked to them alikuwa ameongea they had refused to hear walikuwa wamekataa kusikia and the only way he could speak to them jia pekee ambayo angeliwanenea was using the natural means ilikuwa ni kutumia njia asili the bible says for the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit maana mtu akiasili hawezi akapokea vipao vya roho for to him they are foolishness maana kwao ni upumbavu but the spiritual man lakini mtu wa roho he understands beyond the natural anaelewa zaidi ya mambo asili so elijah comes to him kwa hivyo elia akamjia and he tells him listen king akamwambia sikiza mfalme the god before whom i stand mungu ambaye namtumikia as long as he is alive muradi tu yuko hai there will not be a drop of rain hakutakuwa na tone la mvua until i say so hadi niseme hivyo Elijah was connected. Elia alikuwa ameunganika. Ahab could have thought this man is so stupid and foolish. Ahab alidhani kwamba huyu mtu ni mjinga na mpumbavu. Who is he? Yeye ni nani? To stop the heavens. Kusimamisha mbingu. Who is he? Yeye ni nani? To challenge the seasons and times God has put in place. Kujaribu kubadilisha majira ambayo Mungu ameweka. But Ahab forgot one statement. Lakini Ahab alisahau taarifa moja. The God who I serve. Mungu ninayemtii. Before who I stand. Ambaye mimi kusimama mbele yake. I am declaring. Ninatang I am is representative. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By you having the Holy Ghost in you. God has appointed you as his representative. You mean to stand and say things. Jesus affirmed that again. He said all things whatsoever. Which you shall ask in prayer. Believing. When you ask them in my name. It shall be done. All things whatsoever. When Jesus said whatsoever, He means whatsoever. Even the things you have been thinking they are impossible. Hata vitu ambavyo umekuwa kidhani kwamba haviwezekani. They are possible to him who believes. Yawezekana kwa yule anayeamini. They are possible to him who believes. Yawezekana kwa yule anayeamini. Just rise are you a believer? Simama tu je wewe ni muumini? Are you a believer? Wewe ni muumini? Rise on your feet. Simama kwa Mungu miguu. If you are a believer. Wapo wewe ni muumini? The Bible declares. Biblia inatangaza. All things whatsoever. Vitu vyote vile. Elijah declared. Elia alitangaza. And for three and a half years. Na miaka nusu. It never rained. And James I love the way James puts it. He says Elijah was a man subject to like passions. Anasema kwamba Elia alikuwa na mtu na tamaa kama sisi. What are passions? Tamaa nini? The feelings. Hisia. The doubts. Shaka. The unbeliefs. Kutoamini. The human weaknesses. Udhaifu wa mwanadamu. Will it happen or not? Tatendeka ama itatendeka. What I'm saying is it going to shame me if it doesn't happen? Kile nasema je kitaniaibisha kizito tena. Those are the passions. Hizo ndio tamaa. Those are the passions. Hizo ndio hisia. The Bible says he was. Biblia nasema alikuwa. As you are. Kama vile ulivyo. As you are. Kama vile ulivyo. As I am. Kama nilivyo. As we all are. Kama tulivyo sisi. We have our weaknesses. Tuna udhaifu wetu. But he prayed earnestly. Lakini aliomba kwa bidii. He prayed. Aliomba. 
in your fears katika hofu yako my friend you can pray rafiki yangu unazoomba in your doubts katika shaka yako my sister you can pray dada yangu unazoomba in your troubles katika matatizo yako you can pray waweza kuomba hallelujah hallelujah that it might rain kwamba kunyesh you know the most interesting thing wajua cha kufurahisha is the one who had declared there won't be rain ni yeye alikuwa ametangaza kwamba hakutakwepa mvua He only made a statement. Alisema tu useni. No rain. Hakuna mvua. Until I say so. Hadi niseme. But now he's been taken to another chamber. Lakini amepelekwa kwenye chumba kingine. That he really has to pray. Kwa sababu alihitaji kuomba kweli kweli. There are things you may have declared. Kuna vitu ambavyo unaweza kuli vitamka na kutangaza. It takes earnest prayer for you to cause the manifestation. Inagaribu maombi ya bidii ili wewe kusababisha kuepo na udhihirisho says that he prayed honestly that it might not rain inasema kwamba akaomba kwa bidii mvua isinyeshe he declared it alitangaza that was an honest prayer hilo lilikuwa ni ombi la bidii how honest was it ilikuwaaje bidii when he declared that he is a representative of god wakati alitangaza kwamba yeye ni mwakilishi wa mungu i have said it nimesema no rain hakuna mvua to him that is what was honest prayer kwake Until I say so. Hilo liko ombi la bidii. Hadi ni sema. And it didn't rain. Na haikunyashi. And when he comes again to call for the rain. Akija tena kuitisha mvua. The Bible says he prays more earnest. Biblia inasema kwamba aliomba kwa bidii zaidi. Until he kneels and he puts his head in between his his legs. Hadi his ana, knees. Hadi ana ana anasujudu na kuweka kichwa chake katikati ya magoti yake. The position of bathing nafasi ya kujifungua and he sends his servant na akatuma mtumishi wake go check enda angalia go observe enda angalia we are going to pray tunaenda kuomba there are things that we must decree kuna vitu ambavyo lazima tuamrishe there are things we must declare kuna vitu ambavyo lazima tuvitangaze there are things we must go beyond the natural kuna vitu ambavyo lazima tuende zaidi ya asili there are things we must go supernatural kuna vitu ambavyo lazima tuende kwa hali ya kiungo we must rise from the natural to the spiritual lazima tuinuke kutoka asili tuende kwa kiroho you are not only a natural man wewe tu sio mtu wa kiroho you are also a spiritual wewe pia ni mwanadamu wa kiroho the day you received the holy spirit siku ambayo ulipokea roho mtakatifu is the day God recruited you into the spiritual realm. Ndio siku ambayo Mungu alikuleta katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. That you are not operating just from the physical. Kama hutendi kazi tu kutoka kwa ulimwengu wa kimwili. Take your rightful place. Siku nafasi yako inawafaa. Ephesians chapter number 2 declares. Wa Efeso 2 inatangaza. We are raised together with Christ. Tumeinuliwa pamoja na Kristo. In the heavenly places. Katika sehemu za mbinguni. We are operating from heaven. Tunatenda kazi kutoka mbinguni. I may be walking here on earth. Naweza kuwa natembea hapo ulimwengu. But my operation is from heaven. Lakini utendaji kazi wangu ni kutoka mbinguni. I don't know if there is someone who agrees with Sijui me. Sijui kama that. kuna mtu ambaye anakubaliana nami kwa hilo. That I'm walking here. Kwamba natembea hapa. But my operation kwa, lakini utendaji kazi wangu is sanctioned wangu. from heaven. Unamrishwa toka juu mbinguni. Where I'm seated. Ambako nimeketishwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may see me walk down here. Naweza kuniona nikitembea hapa. But in the spiritual realm I'm lakini seated. Lakini katika ulimwengu wa rohoni Sitting is a position of authority. Kuketi ni nafasi ya Sitting is a position of delegation. Sitting is a position of ex- execution of power. Ni hali ya kutimiza mamlaka na nguvu. Just lift your hands. Inuwe mikono yako juu. Just go before God. Enda mbele za Mungu. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just go before God. Enda mbele za Mungu. Oh masikiribu shakata. Maskepo ya katarike mushuko ya. Rika ya mazanka yebo kuri muziki ta Remiske boya kandara mosiki tere boshaka Rebaba bosi ke ya mayanturu bukuri Rika ya mazando bukuri mazeka ta Rekete tere basoko ya kandara ka yemo zanda Rebaba bosi andere bosi ke tere ke ya kato My God my Father Lord I've delivered your word Father I'm stepping back To let you go before to do 
what you desire to do. To do what you are purposed to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. These are your children, my father. These are your people. Some are watching online, Jehovah. I pray, Holy Father, giver of your spirit, the one who releases your Holy Spirit and releases the gifts of the Spirit with such a manifestation upon your people, dear Lord. I pray, Jehovah God, you who watches over your word to fulfill it and accomplish it, you who watches over the word spoken by your servants, my Father, I pray, dear Lord, that you may confirm it, confirm it over the lives of your people, confirm it over the lives of your children, in the mighty name of Jesus, by stretching forth your hand, your mighty hand of God, to touch the lives represented here, to touch your people standing here, in the mighty name of Jesus, let every body break, I arise in my rightful place, in the heavenly places, my father, where you have sat me in your son, in you, O oh God, above every power, above every principality, I draw from that power, I draw from that authority, and direct against every work of the enemy, and direct against every bondage of the enemy, that has held your children, I break it in the name of Jesus, I destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus, I release that grace, release that grace, multiply that grace, to work for your people, my Father. Deliver them, O oh God. Let every sickness, let every infirmity, whatever disease it is, let it melt in the mighty name of Jesus. We are believing on your report in the mighty name of Jesus. You who has declared of the Lord your God who heals you of all your diseases. I will not afflict to you with the sicknesses of the Egyptians I declare right now healing my father upon your people healing upon your children whatever tumors whatever growth whether it is fibroids whether it is cancer whether it is COVID whatever sickness whether it is AIDS whether it is arthritis I command you to die by the root, melt away in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Masekere Mosaya, Masekantara Mosaya, Roko Bosheke Tereke Mosanda, Remiske Boya Kantara Kaya Boseka, Riba Boya Kantere Bos, Roba Babos Sekere Bayanta, Ria Masoya Kantere Bokoya, Roko Mosa Kantere Rebo, Reke Masanda. Andoroboko reba seka rema skepo ya katete rebo seka in the mighty name of Jesus Father fill your children Father fill your children Father fill your children with the Holy Spirit fill your children with the Holy Spirit release and manifest the gifts of the Spirit the gifts of the Spirit the gifts of the Spirit the gift of tongues the gifts of interpretation the gifts of the word of knowledge, the gifts of wisdom, word of wisdom, the gift of the discerning of spirit, the gift of faith, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the gift of service. My God, my God, my God, you are all. Awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place. Let your glory, let your glory, let your glory, let your glory overshadow this place. Let your glory overshadow this place. Let your glory impart on your children, impart on your people, impart on your sons. 
Rekeba Santa Ramamos, Rokomo Sakander, Mokurma Seke, Rima Santo Robos, my God and my Father, we are breaking through, breaking through the natural, we are getting into the supernatural, let the supernatural manifest in our lives, manifest in our lives, manifest in our homestead, manifest in your church, manifest in our jobs, manifest in our marriage. Jesus. Jesus. You are awesome, my father. You are awesome, oh God. You are awesome, oh God. Santana Rabushi. Reke ya masukure wa Santa Rama. You who is watching us over. And you don't know Jesus. I want you. Nataka. To pray with me this prayer. You need to give your life. To Jesus Christ. Let him be Lord over your life. Without him. You can do nothing. Without him. You cannot receive this gift. Just pray with me. If you, even if you are in this place. Pray together. Say heavenly father. I repent of my sins. I confess I am a sinner. Forgive me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Today, I believe in my heart. You died for me. Save me, Lord. I cannot save myself. Write my name in the book of eternal life. I believe from today you are my personal Savior. Write my name, Lord, in the book of eternal life. Thank you, Father. Fill me with your spirit. And the joy of salvation. Father, Baba. in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Redeemer, and our Savior, thank you for saving our lives and saving this one who has prayed with us. I pray that you may fill them with the joy of salvation, with your Holy Spirit, my God, that there will be a manifestation in their lives from this day forward. We give you thanks. May you keep them, my father, until that day. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, for everything you've done for your people. I pray, Jehovah God, let your grace be multiplied as you take us deeper into your word, into the seasons of the Spirit. We yield and submit to you. Thank you, Father, for using us, O oh Lord. May you preserve and refresh us once again for another that day, my God. Thank you for the encounters that we have had with you in this place. Oh God, I thank you. Receive all glory and honor for it all belongs to you. All majesty and dominion belongs to you. Bless your people even as we leave. May your grace and your favor salute them wherever they go. Let them become mighty in the land of the living. May you be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory.